my god as you can tell by the title the piercing my nose so I actually I've pierced my nose before and I've also pierced my ears but myself at home all by myself and I actually had to take out my piercing because of cheer so I'm gonna re-pierce it and we're gonna do it together and I'm gonna show you the whole process I went through and of how I kept it like nice and clean and safe so I'm actually gonna be a little more professional this time because before I just used I didn't use gloves or anything I just so I'm gonna use some gloves to keep a little more sanitary I have q-tips the safety pin and the alcohol and inside is the piercing I put it in alcohol so we can like cancel all the bacteria to make it clean so it's just soaking up right now and this is the one I'm using you can use any alcohol that cleans with minor cuts just to help clean it and kill the bacteria so I recommend washing your hands cleaning the area and it's it hurts some people ask if it hurts and it hurts but it just depends on how sensitive your body is and how much you can take pain um, but the faster you do it, like the faster you do it, the less pain you feel. So let's put my gloves on. Let's get started. Next, we're going to get some of the alcohol. It's inside here. And I'm going to dip my Q-tip. And just clean the area outside and inside of where I'm going to pierce my nose. You can see my skin is red, so it, I did nothing. It's just I have naturally red skin. I'm going to get the safety pin and we're going to basically cleanse it, clean it. I'm gonna leave it in here for about a minute. So some people like to mark it with a Sharpie pen or whatever on their nose before they do it, but I know exactly where I want it, so I'm not gonna mark it, but I suggest you mark it just in case, you know, because you don't wanna go through the whole process again of having to re-pierce it, which hurts. Okay, so I have several different safety pins, but I'm using the mini safety pin because the one I'm using the nose ring I'm using is kind of thin, so we're going to use the baby safety pin. Also, do recommend having some toilet paper because you will going, you will bleed from your nose. Okay, right here. I want mine right here. Okay, I'm going to click it in three, two, one. Okay, it's it's like on, but it's not all the way in, and I feel like this is not working too much as I want it to with this Q-tip. So I'm gonna just try pushing it in like that. Oh, it's so hard to push it in fast. Like, it's like, ugh, I'm going through like a big rock. I can't even feel it. I'm going to take this off because I cannot feel where it is. Okay, it's halfway because I can feel it. Okay, I feel the thing. I feel it. It's in through my nose. Now I'm just going to push it more. There. Can you see? Oh, there's a booger. Hold on. Let me clean my nose. Okay. It is through. I did that really fast, not gonna lie. 
and it wasn't painful it wasn't that painful oh my god i'm crying it wasn't that painful to be honest it just feels like a sharp pain but like when you go to the doctor like we, you can deal with the pain it's not that bad so i'm just gonna push it through even more so it can get open up that doesn't hurt at all okay i'm just gonna walk around like this like <sighs> Okay, so here is the nose ring. It's very tiny. So we're going to have to take this out really fast and put the nose ring in because it will close. What? Been before it starts bleeding. we did it oh my god it took a little while because when I first when I first did it I had a straight a straight stud but this stud had a curve so I had to like do it in an angle and it was just really hard to get it in and I finally did it and my nose is really red so now I'm just disinfecting it again since it's in. I have to do this three times a day so it does not get infected. And then after like two months of cleaning it three times a day, I have to do it, I could do it once a day. So yeah, that's where we're at. So I have to clean all around. But for some reason, it, my nose looks way more red through the camera, but I promise it's not that red. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. And do I recommend you doing this at home? If you want to save $40, yes, go for it. But just know that you are at risk of getting it infected if you do not take care of it. But if you take care of it, it won't get infected. There's a most likely, there's a higher chance it won't get infected. So if you're doing this, method make sure to clean it okay don't forget to clean it we do not want it we do not want your nose to get infected no 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 this is like one of the easiest things to get infected also because we're always touching your face we're sleeping blah 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 just make sure to clean it throughout lee and yeah i hope this video was helpful